Hello everyone, today we will take this video to show you how to connect with Moto. Before connecting the Moto, we need to prepare the basic hardware equipment, including a 48 volt power supply and a Windows system computer. Next, let's talk about the UART serial port connection. There is a UART module and its wire in the accessory bag. The other side needs to connect with full pin connector. After finish this, please connect the other side with standard 2.0 USB cable. Then connect the UART cable with the Moto. You can find the Moto UART interface definition is 5 volts TX, RX, GND respectively. OK, let's connect the full pin connector. Then connect the USB to computer. In this way, our USB module has been connected. Here's a little tip. If you are using my actuator Moto for the first time, when connecting the serial port, you need to download firmware for UART. Otherwise, your computer may not be able to recognize the Moto. Where to download the firmware? You can get this from our website. Now, let's try to connect the Moto. Double click the debugging software. Well, when this page appears, it indicates that the connection is failed. After check, we found out that it was because the power supply was not turned on. Turn on the power. We found that the motor driver light is solid green. It means that the driver is good. Now we click here. OK, we can directly enter the software. Here can show the output shaft position in real time. Now the position is at zero. Let's move the motor to a certain angle. Let's try to move it to 360 degree. Look at the motor. What will happen? Click. OK, the real-time output angle can be displayed here. Here you can see the real-time curve change. Now the motor successfully rotates to 360 degree. Now let's make the CAN connection. You can see that we have soldered the two communication wires of the CAN bus to the motor. Requires connection with USB to CAN module. We recommend the CAN module of USB to CAN I+. This module is very convenient and simple to use. You can buy this module from our official store. When connecting, the interface on the motor side is defined as CAN H and CAN L. Connect to the module in sequence. After installation, we connect the other side of the module to the computer. In this way, the CAN module finished the connection. Next, let's try to test the CAN command. Is it possible to make the motor rotate? Turn on the power first, then open the CAN software. Connect the device. After connecting, we set the motor ID to 140. We have prepared the instructions in advance. Copy the command. We want the motor return to zero position through CAN command. Let's have a try. That's correct. The motor can go back to zero position. In this video, we learned how to connect a motor with UART and Canvas. If you still have questions, you can check my actuator website and send email to us. Our customer service staff will help you as soon as possible. Next video, we will talk about how to use Assistant 3.0 debugging software.